That's the most important thing right here. Guys, wipe off your equipment. Oh my goodness. It takes two seconds. Stop the spread of COVID-19. It's a simple thing that makes a big difference. This episode was brought to you by DeAnthony McKinley for president. What's up guys? My name is DeAnthony McKinley and we are going to be going through a full body type of blood flow type of workout. It's more for recovery and you know just to give your body a little bit of an active rest from from the week. So yeah, right. come how check long, us out. How long you been an amateur bodybuilder? I've been an amateur bodybuilder going on two years. Okay. I've done two shows. I've done the natural class of the Titans. I got second, and then the Mr. and uh, Mrs. Natural Minnesota. Okay. I got third, so still, still working, still trying to bring home the gold. Hell yeah. yeah but yeah, All it. right, let's get it. We're gonna start with some calf raises here. Be around three sets, around 20, 30 repetitions here. Let's get it. All right, let's do it. Put your, put your feet where the table is. It's not malfunctioning, I'm just weak. <laughs> so, do you usually start with calves or just on recovery days? So, this is just a recovery day, so this is just something I'm doing for today. Okay. Usually, with, if I'm doing anything legs, I'll start with like an abductor machine. Okay. Um, and then, like, some isolation movements, like leg curls or leg extensions. Okay. Um, but for today, we're starting with calves, and we're just going to work our way up, okay. give a full body recovery today. You don't need to go crazy heavy, you know. Especially today, we're keeping it light. Okay. So we're just focusing on feeling it, blood flow, getting the blood to the muscle. That's the focus for today. Wait, how many are we doing? 20. 20? Yeah, 20 yards. I like it. You know, I got skinny calf syndrome, so it's nice getting some blood in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're on the white girl. All the time. Gonna, uh, want, uh, put the blood in those hamstrings now. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to do three sets. Check this out. We're going to do seven normal reps, seven slow, and then seven reps at the bottom, and then seven reps at the top. That's one, that's one set. We got three rounds left. All right. <laughs> yeah. Anthony, are you a five or six days a week kind of workout guy? Pretty much every day. I like to take my rest days, but I, I, try, I prefer to train every day. Nothing wrong with rest days, though. That's just something I prefer. Uh -huh. I thought to myself, I said, I said, this weight is a little light, but then I was like, I'm doing 28 reps. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that heavy. It's just hard. Uh -huh. oh. That's crazy. <laughs> 28. Oh. Woo. Hey, you did it. Yeah. Same thing on the extension. Wait. First we gotta spray it down. Don't leave home without it. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Especially now. Right. He goes up. Oh. <laughs> Off the back floor. Woo! Same thing on the leg extension. Seven normal, seven slow. Seven at the bottom, seven at the top. Oh. 
I love the rock stuff. Did you order that online? Um, I was going to, but then I went to the Dix, uh, and they have the line there. Oh, that's nice. How many am I doing? 20. Yeah. How you feeling? We're working. Yeah. We're working. Feeling a little sweaty. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Deontay, show me a pose real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, I don't know, classic? Show me what you do. But one of my favorites yeah. is called a side jet. And what it is, you pick a, the judge will say you the left or right. So it's, what it is, is your face. You, with your front leg, you want to be on more of your tippy toes. You want to squat to highlight that separation between your quads, your hamstrings. And what you want to do, pull your elbow to your side, stick your chest up, Flex, keep the core tight, and it's a pose that's supposed to highlight your arms, your side chest, your legs, your calves. And you want to keep that chest up to highlight how big that chest is. You want to see that. You can't see that on another layer, but you want to see that the side development of the chest, the chest and back. You want to see the striation. I don't know if you can see that. And then just, just a side pose to highlight your side chest. It's one of my favorites. It's one of it's a classic physique pose. Um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful pose. Oh no, man, here it is. Ah. Arch is hitting me. I'm trying. Put that, put your front foot back. Yep. Like this. Yep. That foot. Bend this elbow. Yeah, there we go. Flex your core. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have to enter into the show. Oh, yeah. Assistance. Classic physique, which is what you're doing, right? Right. What do they look for the most as far as development? Oh, honestly, it's, a, it's, it's about it's about appearance. It's about conditioning. They're not really looking for the most muscular. Okay. But who looks who looks the most pleasing? Okay. You know. So if you if you're someone who has the most a lot of muscle but aren't able to pose or aren't able to show off what you have. Mm -hmm. Uh, you won't win if you have the most muscle. It's about who has the, the most, the, the, the prettiest physique and okay. the classic physique. Okay. You know, it's not about size and rah. It's about grace and it's about just it's about appearance, you know. So it's, you do need the muscle and you do need the conditioning, which conditioning just means how shredded you are. Okay. But you just got to be able to present it right. Spray them down, folks. Easy. Big dumbbells. About to swing climb. 
chest press. Gonna work that upper chest. This is probably the best exercise for doing that is the incline dumbbell press. Lightweight, nothing crazy. How many sets reps? We're doing three rounds of 20 reps. Lightweight. What I like to do is tilt my hip to the side. Okay. And then flex. With this one, uh, you still want to flex your quads. Okay. Keep your core tight. And it's just a double bicep. Let me get a shot of that one more time. Okay. A lot of guys that just do strain, uh -huh. but when your hips tilted, it's kind of separates you from the other way. I'm gonna try to lift the chest up too. Okay. Tighten up that core. You want that illusion of wide shoulders. You want a tapered waist. Okay. So it gives you like that X, that, that frame. That's not my best pose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we're going. Uh, I don't know how you do that. You just, you make it look not corny. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, there she go. Okay. I don't have biceps. Uh, I don't have biceps to flex. Uh. Start by bringing your hands behind your butt. Okay. And then the, it's a lat spread, so it's self explanatory So you're trying to spread your lat so much the widest on stage. Okay. So what it is is you're trying to spread your lat. Uh, you want to uh, kind of widen your shoulders as much as you can because you want that illusion. A wide shoulders with a tapered waist. Okay. And you want to flex your chest. Interesting. You, want to, you can't see through the abdominals, but you want to make sure that you flex your quads. Pretty much the quads all the way through your shoulders. And you just want to widen your lats out. Lat, that's a lat spread. And you want your, your fish to end, end up at the size of your shoulders. Okay. Lift your chest in. Flex the board. Yeah. Oh. See that? Woo! Yeah, I kind of It starts coming out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Woo! So, what are we doing here, D'Anthony? So, we're doing a, we're, this is a finisher. We're doing three exercises in one. We're doing the first exercise, we'll start with a lateral raise. Second, we're going right into a front raise. I like a hammer grip. What that means is we're going to do a front raise, but our thumbs are going to be up, and our palms are going to be facing each other. Okay. And then we're going to finish with a rear delt slide, which is an exercise to work your posterior delt. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. He says you don't need heavy weight and then uses 25 pounds. Difficult. Andrea. The real question is, does DeAnthony stretch after he works out? Never. Oh, I love stretch. <laughs> Honestly, that, I feel like that's the hardest thing to do, man. It's, it's, it's a stretch. A, when you're finished with your workout, you just want to be done. Yeah. You're not really thinking about stretch. You're thinking about food. Yeah. <laughs> getting out of the gym, the commute home. Uh, not to make no excuses though, but yeah. definitely should stretch after you yeah. train for sure. Yeah, you did yoga a couple times when you were trying to impress me. <laughs> I took that classes. <laughs> we just finished out workout with DeAnthony. How did we do? You guys did great. You guys did great. It was, uh, it was a tough one for sure. Yeah. But uh, they put in the work and we uh, got it done. Yeah. I think the most interesting thing is how hard the actual posing is. Like, you think it's just like, oh, you're doing this, but there's so much twisting and like having to maintain and hold that kind of stuff, which was really interesting. Yeah. Were, were we any good at it? You know, you guys are not bad at it. You, I mean, <laughs> well, not good. I mean, it's every, it's, it's always, even at the professional, there's always room for improvement. You know, nobody's perfect at it. You know, I'm not perfect at it. I still got a, I got a lot of work to do. But yeah. I mean, you guys aren't. You, 
guys aren't officially bodybuilders yet, but I feel uh, for the first day posing, not bad at all. All right. Um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, actually, she, I saw her hitting that little uh, tricep. <laughs> I'm like, where would that come from? <laughs> that was cool. That was cool to see. But yeah. oh, you guys know it was fun. All right, one last thing. So if anyone wants to keep up with you and see what you're doing, what's your Instagram handle? For sure, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at DeAnthony McKinley. Check me out for updates and workouts and just what I'm doing, what Andrea is doing, what my dog Wayne is doing. <laughs> Feel free to give us a follow. Um, yeah. All right, we'll drop the link to his Instagram and everything sure. uh, at the bottom here. Thanks again, brother. It's COVID, so we'll do that. Uh, no problem. Um, appreciate it, and we'll get lift in soon. All right. A great workout. Yeah. Uh, personally, it's really hard to hold the camera right now because my arms are so tired. Um, legs, I was doing okay. Arms were hard. Yeah, arms were really short. <laughs> um, so I had a couple of parts that were the worst. Uh, hamstrings. When we yeah, did the, the hamstring curl, that was really bad. Once I got to the second part of it, because you know, we did regular, seven regular, seven slow. The seven slow, and then the seven um, kind of at the tail end of the range of motion. Those were the worst. Um, and then the chin-ups for me yeah. were really yeah. tough. Yeah. And then the uh, the shoulder press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all of it. Yeah, whole thing. <laughs> What was your favorite part about the workout? Um, I guess I really enjoyed like the burn of it. So mm -hmm. we usually lift pretty heavy. So to just like by the end, like there's no doubt about it. Even if you went really light, but by the end you were, you couldn't do anymore. Mm -hmm. Like you were like pushing to get the last few out. And I like competing against myself, like mentally. I like the, to like push myself mentally. So that was really fun to be able to do. Because when we do heavy, like if you don't do quite heavy enough, then then by the end you're not really getting that feeling. So it yeah. was fun to have that feeling like every time mm -hmm. you were doing something. Yeah, we don't 20, 20 as a rep range. We don't do that almost ever. ever. We do a lot of strength work and then a lot of hypertrophy. So. We don't usually go past uh, 12, 15 reps, right? I was going to say 12 to 15 reps is a lot for me. Yeah. And when he said 20, I was like, hmm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Um, I think I might actually give a bodybuilding competition a try one of these days. He yeah, was yeah. He was hyping me up. He was making me feel good. I was like, okay, maybe I can. Maybe, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. But uh, now, where are we going to eat? We, D'Anthony, couldn't join us today, but that's totally okay. He gave us a great suggestion. He said to check out black sheep pizza so we're in minneapolis right now and we're gonna go um find black sheep pizza and we will let you know how it is yeah. i'm excited to smack down on some pizza right yeah. now i just need food that's what i need yeah all right we'll see when we get there inches was going to be that big of a pizza. So we got leftovers for days. I'm okay with it. What do you think though? What out of 10? Um, on a pizza scale or on a food scale? Pizza scale. On a pizza scale. 
to scale, I'd give it a seven and a half. Ooh, seven and a half. I like it. We like it. Time to get home and take a nap. Yeah. If anyone was wondering, um, how you can tell that I thought it was good pizza, my nose sweats when I eat, and if I eat something really good, it sweats a whole lot. I don't know how to fold this box. It's outsmarting. Oh, Archie. Can you help? She did it. Thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. It was a lot of fun to film it. I liked hanging out with DeAnthony and kind of seeing what being a bodybuilder is all about. We've got a ton of new episodes planned uh, from a lot of different sports. So we've got lots of division two, II, division three athletes. We've got coaches, personal trainers, um, lots of different guys lined up. We've got a bouldering episode that we're shooting, um, Olympic lifting, NFL combine. Uh, we've got skateboarding episodes, so just a ton. Um, we're really just enjoying making these videos and kind of uh, interacting with old friends and making new ones as well. And if you have any ideas on where we should go in the Twin Cities to eat next time, drop it in a comment below. And subscribe. Oh, you see that? It says subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, <laughs> thanks so much. Do we have anything else? No. No. Okay, thanks for watching. Ow! Mm -hmm.